it's the humper. Look how pretty the sky is. It's so pretty. Hi. It's the humper. At your local gas station. I am pumping gas for a living now. <laughs> I do everything. I wash windows. I do everything. <laughs> Here he is. There he is. Washing the window. Where are we going? I know where I work here. No, <laughs> where are we going? We're on a silver beach. What Pizzeria. are we gonna go find? No, before the pizza, what are we gonna go find? The Penta and the Nina. Yep, the Penta and the Nina. Heidi's in here too. She's riding along. You coming up here? She's right down here. Oh, here she comes. You coming? Come up here. Yeah. But look how pretty it is outside. But it's only 60 degrees. It's chilly. Okay, we'll be back. We're coming up on the Lake Michigan Silver Beach County Park. There, is, the water is rolling. There is nobody on the beach. <laughs> There's no nobody. In. There's no boats in the water either. Is there? I know it's unusual not to see any boats out there. At our lighthouse. Yeah, there ain't nobody around. Nobody. Nobody. In the summertime, this place is packed. Hard to believe there's nobody out there. I know. Just last week it was packed. I know. Now it's empty. No volleyball people, no nothing. It's only 60 degrees though, so you know the water's cold. But we think the Nina and the Pinta are down here docked in the river. We're going to go look, so we'll be back in. Okay, we're looking for the boats, but we don't know where they are. They're supposedly docked along here somewhere, aren't they? Don't know. All the river said, said someplace. Oh, I see a sign that says Nina and Pinta. I think we're close. We're going to turn here. Oh, oh. We're going to die. Here. No, we're not. I see it. You should have told me I would brought that bread along got rid of it. Look, Nina and Pinta sign. Here's the entrance down here. Let's not hit the little boy. I don't think he would like it very much. What if there's parking down here? The Nina and Pinta entrance. They're down here. They're par down here at the park. They both, they aren't very big. I would not want to go across the ocean on that. They say they're really seaworthy. They've been a big storm for like 20, 30 foot waves. They say they're really seaworthy. Yeah. And you know, in, in, in the, on those ships there, the deck had, they slept on deck. They never, they, they, they the, the captain and the officer, they the one that had inside thing. Okay, I'm going to do a UA Eagle Park and then give him the camera to take you down by the shore. Hang on. Okay, here is the ships. There's the Penta and the Nina. And uh, the ships are built, one of them was built strictly by hand, just like they did in the old days. There's no, it's all original. They don't put no screws or nothing in it. It's all handmade. And this is the actual closest they can get the replication of a of one of them right here this is it here, here. I, they aren't very big as you can see there's like four masses on them this is the Nina and back here behind it is the uh, Penta you got the Penta the Santa Maria isn't here just the Penta and the Nina but uh, they say they are really they are really seaworthy for as little as they are so uh, we got guided tours here to pay to get on, but I just want to take some movies of it. Uh, it's pretty neat, really. I want to go down here to the uh, Penta so you can like, get some good pictures of the Penta. This is the Penta. I'll get a close-up if I can of it. As you can see, it's a little bit uh, after, uh, after birth, a little bit bigger than the Nina, but uh, they're all painted black, as you can tell. And uh, this is a four-mast schooner, too. I think they're only like 200. I think they're only like a, not even 200 foot long, like 160 foot long, something like that. And, uh, they're here for the weekend on tour. This is people in the boat down here. They're taking a tour of it down here. You can see it real good now. There's the whole ship. And there's the flag up there. They're flying the flags. That's the Nina. And that is the Penta. This is a statue here of a horse. It's made out of metal. And 
here is Amina. This is on the St. Joe River in St. Joe, Michigan. It's really beautiful here. There's a tall mast on it, all the way up to the flag. There it is, right there. But well, we're going to go on up the hill here now, head back. We're going to go have some pizza. It said uh, Nanina has a crew of six, plus the captain. And the Pinta is a little bit bigger ship. And they said it has ten crew members and a captain. That's what the woman just said. Now we're at the lake by the little pavilion. Oh, the window for you. There's Heidi getting all excited. There's a bunch of birds. They have a big um, playground over here that my cousins used to like to come to when they were little, but now that they're 21 and 22, not so much anymore. And you got the beautifulness. Rough day out there today. Yeah, I bet you it's cold. You gonna go jump in the water? No way. Heidi, Heidi, go swimming. Today. Yeah, I know. There ain't nobody out here. There's a couple down there walking their dogs. But, um, that's If you about. swim across right here, you'll swim right to Chicago. That way, right? That way to Chicago. Yeah. That way to Chicago. Sometimes on a real clear day, you can see the skyscrapers over there from this side of the lake. I've, no, I've never seen them before. I have. Have you? I've never, I've never really looked. Okay, now we're going to enjoy the... We have two minutes until the restaurant opens, so we're wasting time. And we're time. hungry. We're going to have pizza. This is the pizza parlor. It's like a bar, and then there's over there seating, and then we're in this seating area. They just opened. The old train depot. Yeah, old tra Well, there's still a train depot, too. Did yeah. Catch a train here yet? Amtrak. Oh, yeah. they, oh, they stopped here. Yeah. They have a porch out that way. The lake is straight that way. Industrial. Cool looking. There is one. There is one. Very good. Very good. I got a little bit. We're on a road between two bean fields. There's Heidi Ho over there. She apparently just deadened one of Dad's hands. Why? What'd she do? Not that. She sat on one of your nerves, didn't she? Yeah, I paralyzed my hand. She's standing on a nerve on my arm, paralyzed my hand. <laughs> I'll never be the same. Well, you know, he was never the same to begin with. Uh, we're on a detour because the road that we were going to go uh, across was not open. So now we're going elsewhere. We're looking for a... What are we looking for anyway? Looking what? for people that grow stuff. You grow yeah. squash. Yeah, we're looking for people that Anything grow stuff. Want, that could be very conspicuous. Any kind you want. So, yeah. If we find the squash people, I will show them to you, but I don't know if that's going to work. We're at this place that we're pulling in. I'm like, are you sure this is a place? Because there's no sign or nothing. But, you know, the guy just greeted him with, hey, Neil. So, apparently, he remembered my dad. Oh, he's got a puppy dog. Now they're going to yak. Heidi, Heidi, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's got a lot of taters, eggplants, stuff. We'll see if we get some squash. I just found out their dog's name is Stacy, just like me. Yeah, their other dog had chased pigeons. They live in Niles and it got hit by a car. Yeah. It got loose and got hit. Pretty dog. So okay. Stacey. No Stacey. squash? No squash? Stacy had eight puppies. Hello. No squash yet, no. Oh, okay. Because mom's out there working. She's still living. She's out there and his brother works here. His dad died quite a while back. Goodbye, Stacy. Yeah. Goodbye. 